Hi. Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is Lenovo's Beacon, which is a home media server and media uh, player. It's a device that has uh, two hard drive or, or solid state disk drive bays. Uh, it can handle two 3.5 inch disks and up to six terabytes of data. And you can use them as a home media server connected to your uh, home network and access uh, files on any computer or other device on your home network. Or you can plug it straight into your TV and use it to run XBMC uh, media center software. So you can play videos, music, uh, it, stream internet video, and do other things. It runs on a Linux-based kernel, has a small amount of embedded flash storage, which has that Linux kernel and XBMC software on it, and um, then the, the uh, dual hard drive system uh, works to, uh, to give you that extra storage up to six terabytes. It's um, going to sell for about $199, that's without any built-in storage, you supply storage yourself, and it'll be available in April. And if you take a look around the device, you'll see that it has a wide range of connections. We've got two USB 3.0 ports, we've got um, HDMI, Ethernet, um, what's that, DisplayPort? Or? Oh, that, that's a power adapter, okay. And, um, and there's, it looks like there's a mobile app that you're using, the uh, remote control XBMC, is that what we're doing, or? Um, so each side here is removable, and you can see that we've got the hard drive in on this side, it's off on this side, and then we've got the removable panels. Here's what it looks like when it's all turned on and plugged in, and um, again, here's the user interface, and you can see that you can install XBMC add-ons, which you can download from the internet. Um, you should be able to also uh, plug in a uh, USB mouse, keyboard, uh, wireless remote control as long as it's compatible with uh, XBMC and the Linux software. And Lenovo uh, will um, be able to handle software updates uh, remotely by sending out updates to users. Um, hackers probably could do their own thing with this. Uh, I don't know if Lenovo is going to officially support that, but if you don't like the software that comes with it, because it is based on the Linux kernel, it might be uh, a hacker-friendly device. And, uh, and here's a little bit about the uh, specifications. It's kind of a combination. Like, I, mean, I, I grew up with the PC. So again, this is Brad Linder with Lenovo's Beacon Media Device.